Are you tired of watching your friend Bob inhale an entire pizza while maintaining chilled abs? Or do you dream of a world where fast metabolism isn't just something you read in fairy tales? Well, grab a seat as we dive into the world of metabolism boosting. And spoiler alert, it doesn't involve making a deal with the devil or joining a cult that worships treadmills. But before we dive in, if you don't know me, my name is Dr. Christian Poulos. I am a health and fitness professional working to get you jacked and healthy. So before we start turbocharging our internal metabolic furnace, let's actually break down what metabolism is. So in fitness speak, when we talk about metabolism, metabolism, we're really referring to your total daily energy expenditure or TDEE. It's basically how many calories your body burns per day, which determines whether you'll be shopping in the slim fit or the cozy section next season. Now, if you're picturing your metabolism as a tiny hamster running on a wheel inside you, you're, you're not really entirely wrong, but it is a little bit more complicated than that. Your metabolism is like a super efficient 24 seven chemical processing plant that never takes a day off. Unlike some of us after leg day, your TDEE is made up of three main components. First is your basal metabolic rate or BMR. This is what your body burns just to keep you alive. You know, boring stuff like breathing, circulating blood, and maintaining your body temperature. It accounts for around 50 to 70% of your daily energy needs. Think of it as your body's like couch potato mode. Even if you decided to channel your inner sloth and not move a muscle all day long, you'll still burn this many calories. It's like the participation trophy of calorie burning. You get it for just showing up. Number two is your physical activity level. This includes formal exercise, hello squat rack, and something called NEAT, or non-exercise activity thermogenesis. NEAT covers all those little movements you make throughout the day, like typing, fidgeting, or just doing your victory dance when you find matching socks. This makes up around 20 to 35% of your calorie burn per day. So yes, your nervous habit of tapping your foot during meetings is actually helping you burn calories. Who knew being antsy could be so productive? Number three is the thermic effect of food, or TEF. So your body actually burns calories to digest food. It's like paying a processing fee, but with energy. Protein is gonna give you the biggest boost here, increase your metabolic rate by around 15 to 30%. Carbs are gonna give you an extra five to 10% and a fats a measly zero to 3%. So next time someone judges you for that protein shake, tell them you're paying your metabolic taxes and you'll be good to go. Now here's where it gets interesting or frustrating depending on your perspective here. Metabolism can vary wildly from person to person. We're talking differences of like thousands of calories per day, even for people of the same exact height and weight. It's literally like mother nature's own version of metabolic roulette. So in a massive 2022 study published in the journal Science, and you know it's legit when it's published in Science, researchers found that for people weighing about 80 kilos or 176 pounds, daily calorie burn ranged from a low of 1400 calories to a high of 5,700 calories. That's right, some lucky people out there could theoretically eat four times as much as others and still maintain your weight. So if you're now eyeing your genetically blessed friend with envy, join the club. But before you throw in the towel and declare yourself cursed with a slow metabolism, let's look at some ways you can give your metabolism a kick in the pants. Who knows, you might just be able to nudge yourself up a few notches on the metabolic scale. So let's get into some of those actionable tips to boost your metabolism, which is what this video is about. Number one, lift heavy things. Repeatedly. No, we're not talking about helping your friend move apartments, although that could help and count. We're talking about resistance training here three to six times a week. So building muscle is like hiring more workers for your metabolic factory. They keep energy burning even when you're binge watching your favorite TV show. But here's the deal. Muscle tissue is metabolically active. That means it burns calories even when you're not using it. Fat, on the other hand, just sits there looking fat, I guess. So by building more muscle, you're essentially creating a 24 seven calorie burning machine in your body. But wait, there is also more. So after an intense workout, your body experiences something called EPOC or excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Basically, it's a fancy way of saying your body keeps burning extra calories for up to 48 hours after you've left the gym. It's like giving a metabolic bonus for your hard work. And ladies, before you start worrying about bulking up, remember that building muscle is hard work. You're not gonna wake up looking like Hulk after a few sessions with some dumbbells. But what you will do is boost your metabolism, improve your body composition, and feel like a total badass. I think it's a win-win-win. Number two, protein, the MVP of nutrients. So remember when we said protein has the highest thermic effect? Well, time to make protein your new best friend. Aim for around one gram per pound of body weight or around two grams per kilogram. Not only will it help you build those muscles you're working on, but it'll also help keep you full. It's like hiring a bouncer for your appetite. But why is protein so special? Well, your body has to work harder to digest protein compared to carbs or fats. This means you burn more calories in the process of digesting your food. Seriously, it's like getting a mini workout every single time you eat a chicken breast. Plus, protein helps preserve muscle mass when you're in a calorie deficit, which is crucial for maintaining your metabolic rate while losing body fat. Now, before you start chugging protein shakes like they're going out of style, remember that variety is key here. Mix up your 
protein sources, eggs, lean meats, fish, dairy, legumes, and yes, the occasional shake. Your taste buds and your roommates will thank you for not subjecting them to the same bland and chicken and broccoli every single day that I know a lot of people are guilty of. And on the note of exercise, I am looking for five busy professionals who are looking to build muscle, lose fat, improve their health over the next 90 days without any crazy restrictions or unsustainable diets. So if that's you, feel free to fill out the application in the description below, and I'll make sure to get back to you and help you out with your goals. Number three is water, nature's good old metabolism booster. So it turns out HTO is the unsung hero of metabolism boosting. So drinking about 17 ounces or half a liter of water can increase your messaging metabolism by around 10 to 30% for about an hour though. Want to squeeze out a few extra calories? Make it ice water. Your body will burn a little bit extra turning it back to your body's temperature. It's not much, but hey, every little bit counts when you're trying to counteract that midnight snack. But the benefits of water go beyond the just temporary metabolic boost. Staying well hydrated is going to help your body function optimally, which includes maintaining a healthy metabolism. It's just key for maintaining your TDE that I mentioned earlier. Plus, sometimes when you think you're hungry, you're actually just thirsty. We're all guilty of this all the time. So before you reach for that snack, try just having a glass of water first. You might save yourself some calories and give your metabolism a little bit of a boost in the process. And let's not forget about exercise performance. Even mild dehydration can significantly decrease strength total volume and reps and recovery between sets, all while making your workout feel a little bit harder. It also affects your brain too. You'll just be more stupid. Simple as that. So keep your water bottle handy, your muscles and your metabolism and your brain will thank you. Number four, don't fear the fat. While I'm not suggesting you chug olive oil or something like that, including some healthy fats in your diet could actually help boost testosterone production, which can in turn help speed up your metabolism. Aim for around 20 to 30% of your daily calories from good fats. Think avocados, nuts, fish, not that leftover pizza grease that you have to dab off with a napkin. But wait, isn't fat fattening? Not necessarily. Your body needs fat to function properly, including maintaining your hormone levels. And remember, hormones play a huge role in regulating metabolism. Low fat diets were all the rage in the 90s, but we've since learned that they're not all they were cracked up to be. And interestingly, some studies found that medium chain fats, like those found in coconut oil, might increase metabolism more than long chain fats. In one study, researchers found that medium chain fats increase metabolism by 12% compared to those long chain fats, which only increased it by about 4%. So maybe it's time to give your coconut oil a try in a stir fry. Number five is sleep, which is the laziest way to boost your metabolism. Finally, a metabolism boosting tip that involves lying down. Getting enough quality sleep is crucial for maintaining a healthy metabolism. Lack of sleep can mess with your hormones, which will make you feel hungrier and potentially leading to muscle loss. Pretty standard rule of thumb, I talk about this in every single video, aim for around seven to nine hours per night. Consider it your nightly metabolic maintenance. But how exactly does sleep affect your metabolism? Well, when you're sleep deprived, your body produces more of the hunger hormone ghrelin and less of the fullness hormone leptin. This can lead to increased appetite and cravings, especially for high calorie foods. It's like your body is trying to make up for the lack of sleep with extra energy. Beyond that, inadequate sleep can lead to increased cortisol levels, which can promote fat storage, especially around your midsection, which you don't want any more out of that spare tire. And remember how we talked about the importance of muscle for metabolism? Well, sleep is crucial for muscle recovery and growth as well. So skimping on sleep could be sabotaging your efforts in the gym. In one study, researchers found that when healthy men reduced their sleep from about nine hours to five hours per night for a week, their testosterone levels dropped by up to 14%. Lower testosterone can mean a slower metabolism and more difficulty building and maintaining muscle. So my friend, hit the hay early. Now here's some bonus tips. The supporting cast of your metabolism. So while the heavy hitters we've discussed are your best bet for metabolic makeover, there are a few other strategies that might give you a small edge as well. Number one is green tea. So green tea has been touted as a metabolism booster with some sources claiming that it can increase your calorie burn by up to 8%. But what does the science say? And this is where it's kind of a mixed bag. Some studies have found a small increase in metabolic rate while others have found no effect at all. And the truth is, while green tea might give you a small boost, it's not gonna be your ticket to effortless weight loss by any means. Think of it as a supporting player, not really the star of the show. Plus it's a great way to stay hydrated, get yourself some good antioxidants, so why not give it a try? And this extends to anything with caffeine, which can also create a minor boost in your metabolism. Number two, spicy foods, particularly those containing capsaicin, which is the compound that gives chili peppers their kick, might give your metabolism a tiny boost as well. One study found that capsaicin increased energy expenditure by about 69 calories per day, but only in people with a BMI over 25. So before you start dousing everything in hot sauce though, consider this, the main benefit of spicy food for weight management might be that it slows down your eating and makes you drink a bit more water. Honestly, just might be a good excuse to order that extra hot curry at the next restaurant you go to. Number three for bonus tips, chill out. Literally. Cold exposure like ice baths or cold showers have gained popularity as a potential metabolism booster. The idea is that your body burns extra calories trying to warm itself up. And while there is some truth to this, shivering does burn calories, 
The effect is kind of minimal. In one study, sitting in an ice bath for 10 minutes burned about 14 extra calories compared to sitting at room temperature. That's like one or two sticks of sugar-free gum. So unless you really enjoy freezing your ass off, you might want to stick to more of the traditional benefits of boosting your metabolism. Number four, I got some neat tricks. Remember neat, non-exercise activity thermogenesis from earlier? Well, it turns out that this could be a secret weapon for boosting your metabolism. Things like taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking further away from the store entrance, or even just fidgeting a little bit more can add up over time. Some people naturally have high neat levels, you know, that friend that can't sit still, but you can consciously increase yours as well. Try a standing desk, take phone calls while walking, or have dance parties while vacuuming or doing housework. Every little movement counts here. Bonus tip number five, reverse dieting. So reverse dieting has gained popularity in the fitness world as a way to rebuild your metabolism after a period of calorie restriction. The idea is to slowly increase your calorie intake, allowing your body to adapt and potentially increasing your metabolic rate. While there's some anecdotal evidence to support this, the scientific jury is still out on this one. If you've been on a very low calorie diet, slowly increasing your food intake can certainly help normalize your metabolism and hormones. But again, don't expect miracles here. It's not gonna turn you into a calorie burning machine overnight. So at the end of the day, while these tips can help, there is no need to obsess over every little metabolic trick. The most reliable ways to manage your weight are still gonna be good old fashioned exercise, a balanced diet, and consistency. But hey, if implementing some of these tips means you can enjoy an extra slice of cake without any extra guilt, why not give it a try? But remember, everyone's metabolism is different. What works for your friend Bob, you know, the one with the pizza and abs, might not work for you, and that's okay. The key is to find a sustainable approach that fits your lifestyle and makes you feel good. Also keep in mind that as you age, your metabolism naturally slows down a bit, but that doesn't mean you're doomed to a life of carrots and celery sticks and treadmills. By incorporating strength training, staying active, eating well, and getting enough sleep, you can keep your metabolism humming along nicely well into your golden years. Lastly, don't forget that while a fast metabolism might seem like the holy grail of fitness, it's not everything. Health, energy, strength, and how you feel in your own skin are all important factors as well. So while you're working on speeding up your calorie burn, don't forget to appreciate all the amazing things that your body can do. So folks, that is it on the metabolism video. Hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if any tips resonated or if there's any other videos you wanna see, make sure to subscribe and drop a like and I'll catch you in the next video.